And Urshan, you, you said you're not particular about keeping the hips on the plinth, are you? No, not for straight. Straight press up the hips. You're supposed to straighten out the elbows all the way and let the hips come off. Because that way you're ensuring end range. Uh, but for the road kill, the hips are definitely going to come off. But that's a trick question. Yeah, it's like, you know, what's more important? Keep the hips on the table or straighten the elbows out all the way? I even got this wrong twice. To my uh, fellowship mentor, he used to ask me that, and I used to get it wrong. I was to say, put the hips on the table, it's not. Because if you have really, really tight hip flexors or lack of hip extension, and you stop where your hips stop you, you that's on end range. But if you press up all the way, and you let your hips sag a little bit, then that's, that's great. Range. But if she was blocked at mid range, to just stay prone on elbows, maybe she couldn't get past that. There's too much threat. So I would have her maybe live just prone for five minutes then print on elbows for five minutes, then press ups. Maybe she's still blocked. So maybe she couldn't get past this. She, her homework might be just to lie like this for you know, 20, 30 minutes several times a day. But to try to get her past that, I may need to do pressure on, pressure off. How's that feel? Feels good. Will you try this? And will we just think like it or don't like it then again? Right, because I mean, it, these, are the, these are the strategies for people who said, what if my patient is still shifted or they have a loss of side gliding but they don't like the shift technique? This is the regression because non-weight bearing is typically less threatening.